Hello, hello, hello and welcome to another video. Have you ever struggled with keeping your loot safe whilst farming all within a single walker? Are you a solar nomad that wants to ensure his walker has everything that is needed to survive the fast lands of Last Oasis? Do you hate to have to pack and unpack base when you only need to use a certain crafting station? Well, you've come to the right video because today I'm going to show you how you can have a walker that offers maximum protection and is one of the most viable, safe walker setups for a solo or even group play. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. I hope to see you in the Oasis soon, Nomads. Fibre weave to... We need 570 wood. E72 wood here. Nice. Yeah, just use it. I'm gonna use yeah, I'm I'm gonna use the uh the quality stuff to make it as quality as we can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's craft this. So much easier when you've got all the materials. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And this walker is actually the perfect walker you like for so many things you can do with it. Yeah, I never really got on with the mollusk, but now with the design that you've showed me and uh, that we're going to show in this video, it's, it's actually awesome. viable and I actually think I might enjoy it. <laughs> I've got to go underneath to fix this part. Oh, that, that part is kind of tricky though. More wood. Bug. All right, guys. So, best solo walker build that uh, Mr. Mayhem has come up with is kindly shared with me. We thought we'd bring it to YouTube's attention and see what you guys think. So, everything we've got here in the line is what we are going to fit into this beautiful mollusk behind me. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it where to place the items um, and uh, yeah we hope you enjoy yeah, it. So the first place, uh, the first it's thing that you want to place is to place it. Steering, steering levers up top here. Yeah. Because of safety reason because if you're losing one gear set it's uh, better to lose that than compared to losing whatever stations and like you lose. Yeah exactly. If you get yeah. attacked. So. That's actually a really nice spot. So yeah, there's a there's a very fine point in which you can place uh, the steering levers, but they're there. They're yeah. there. So we're going to start off with uh, two of the large chests first. So we're going to mesh the first two large boxes into the uh, into the top of the mollusk here. So if we go into first person, just to make life a little bit easier, we're going to uh, line up this first chest right with the corner there you can see it just kind of mesh through the corner and we want it just there second box we're going to place it right next to it i'm going to try and get the green oh no i got it all right then there we go dude my character needs to stop fucking moving all right there we go we'll show you what they look like from the top side so as you can see they they're kind of meshed in um to the top here relatively hard to be struck by other walkers um, and obviously can't be destroyed by uh, hitting them because they're large boxes so placing uh, the advanced furnace we need it placed back as far as we can again first person might help some people prefer to do it in third person you can see I can't place it there so we just need to come forward tick by tick until it goes green Character's moving like a little bitch. So we're going to place it there. Yep. Um, next, we're going to be packing the purification station. And we want to go into first person for this one. Um, we want to place it in as far as we can, but obviously we need to be able to access it as well. So just about there we'll do. We've got the advanced fiber weave station next. And this one, um, we actually found out that it's easier if you do it from above. 
and still in first person you see that it isn't um, coming up with the object in the way um, sign just going to place that there uh, and then we'll take the stomping station next which Mr Mayhem is currently passing me over and um, we're going to try and get it in the sidewards here I think about there is perfect excellent um, woodworking station next which we've got really only one spot where we can place it and that is around here we'll turn that around like that Ta -doom, ta -doom. Um, second to last so Mr. Mayhem throw me over the uh, fireplace please now the fireplace is good because you you can uh, stick it in the the edge here you got to kind of mesh it in find the right spot and then what actually happens is I'll show you you can access it from the uh, the deck here you can get this to sit a bit lower um, but just for the video purposes just to give you the idea that is the idea we've got there um, just quickly before we carry on with the large ch the last large chest this uh, walker climber here is um, a really good place really well placed because you can get on it from the outside but you can uh, you can also access it from the inside as well so you can come from here and it'll throw you up on on the uh, the top so it's a it's a kind of a, a two-in-one walker climber it's just another neat little trick that mr mayhem uh, seems to have um, so for the final piece of the puzzle we're going to fit one more large chest so that's three in total um, and we're going to fit this one underneath in the body of the mollusk so you gotta tweak this one a little bit um, try and find the right spot it's probably going to hang out just a tiny little bit you want to place it uh, here you should get a green snap now if you don't get a green snap you have to uh, just move some stuff around inside um, take it out, put it on deck, replace it, just make sure it's in the correct position. That should be pretty good. Yeah, so we could move that over a little bit. Um, actually, let's just do that. Just because I'm fussy like that. So there you go. It's it's pretty much hidden. I mean, if you weren't looking for it, you you, you just wouldn't know it so was there. Yeah, that's everything, everything in the mollusks now. Um, the only thing that we would say is if you end up getting a saw pod... I would clip it to the underside here um, so that when you get in and out you can just get in and out of it from the deck space here which Mr. Mayhem is going to kindly show um, but yeah so that's the only addition that you could add on uh, to there so we'll just show you around show you that you can interact and use everything on the walker as it is all meshed in uh, so we've got access to our large chests we've got access to the cooker uh, again, access to the furnace, access to the purification, um, fiber weave, stomping station, woodworking station. And then uh, the chest that we've placed underneath, if you look down, you can see you've got another option here that says open. You can open that from inside as well. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's packing in quite a lot of stuff into a, um, a pretty protective uh, walker, solo uh, nomads will get on really well with this it's got everything on it that you could possibly need and it keeps you nice and safe got anything to say mayhem this is the best worker to have actually use when you are a solo player in my opinion and i would recommend it to every solo nomads out there to basically go for this because you'll have the best protection you can imagine possible to have from the window to the wall Until sweat drops down my balls All oh, these bitches cry